Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about 404 page. In this video, we will create a simple routing from scratch, and then I will show you 404 page example completely. But first of all, let's go through with the points of this video. We will learn what is 404 page, then we will import routing, then uh, we will make simple routings like uh, define components, defining links, and all. After that, we will add a 404 page and uh, I will provide you the answer of my previous video's interview question and again, I will ask one more question. You can attempt this question in a comment box and these questions are really important for your interviews. And this is my Instagram account if you just want to join me here. So our first question is what is 404 page? So let's say in your website, you have only two pages, home page and about us page and just someone come on your website and uh, just putting forcefully uh, URL inside the URL bar and try to access the pages which is not existing like he want to access contact us and users page login page which is does not exist right so what you will do that time you have two options one you can show a blank page here but this is not a good approach right it can be confuse uh, your user Second thing, you can show a default page and mention a message here that this page is not available, right? And when we just write here, this page is not av available, we call it 404 page. That means page not found, right? All right, great. So uh, now let's uh, start with the example. This is my output screen and uh, here my app.js component file. So let's just import routing first of all and right here import something from react router DOM. We need four things here. One is browser router as router. Second thing we need a links. Third thing we need a route and fourth thing we need switches like this, right? And I will show you the use of everything, right? So first of all, let's uh, create a wrapper for router like this, right? Now, what we can do, we can define links for visiting the page, right? So just simply put here link and to the link, let's define a, a link for home page and put here home. Great. And let's uh, just define BR tag, right? Don't need it. We can just singly simply use a single BR tag. And uh, now we can add one more page about. All right, that's great. After that, what we can do, uh, here you can check the output. We already defined the routes, but uh, we don't have any components to show them as in pages, right? So let's define uh, some pages like home, right and return some HTML put here a div put here a h1 tag uh, an h1 tag can be small and just write here home right and after that we can also show create a p tag also uh, why these tags are just capitalized automatically I don't know again my bad let's try once again okay and just right here this is home page right and now let's create one more page for same thing let's say this is my about page so that we can just learn a better example so at least we need a two pages right all right but now we have to use this component use these pages as a route so just define a route like this put here component like home and uh, just put here path like blank path right and as you know this is a home page for blank path we must have to use exact and you can put here true or you can put it blank if you just write here uh, exact that means it will automatically uh, true right 
and uh, after that with the same way let's define about page also we don't need exact here put about and let's visit now what we are getting home page and about there is a no about page let me check what's wrong with it let me just refresh okay I actually just uh, misspell my route here right home page and about page so both are working fine and I just need to change here a text also like about now everything is great all right so let's say uh, you have a one more route right so here you can just uh, see uh, you have a login page and uh, someone just want to visit this login but here you can see that there is a no data for login page we have data for about we have for uh, home but there is a no data for login page in in the other case let's say someone just uh, access try to access any kind of page like hello hi whatever but these pages are not exist so we must have to define a by default route for them right and uh, user can just aware that this page is not exist so let's uh, just make one more page here and put its name anything whatever you want I just want to mention here page not found right and just put here 404 and just write here this page is not found right and just simply use this page here about login and uh, let's make a one more route here and just in this route we must have to use here just a star right like this and uh, just simply put here page not found all right everything is great but this is not enough we must have to use here switches around these routes right so just put here switch and paste them again like it and now let's see uh, when you just go for a home this is working fine about is also working fine login on a login you get a 404 page if I'm just going to put here some other URL like uh, blah then you can see that this is still on 404 page and on existing page this is working fine so that's all about that how you can define a default page for not available pages right in last video I asked that so we can see that these uh, link tags actually defining a href internally right here you can see that if we just open it right but uh, let's say I directly use here a tag right and I just put here href I'm just going to put here uh, like uh, about and uh, just put here about so will it work fine or not no this is not going to work fine whenever you will click on you will, it will just go take to you on a right path but it will refresh your page here you can see that right on about this is also just taking you on about and this is also take you on about but after refresh that's why we cannot use this directly anchor tag we must have to use links feature from here right and for this video I have a question that why we use this switch what is what is the use of it you can provide this answer in a comment box if you want otherwise you can just get this answer in the next video so bye bye take care God bless you